guys, it's Lori. Thanks for joining me and watching this video. So today is the 10th of February, 2017. We're at a full moon day again. I think it comes approximately like 7.53 p.m. But as you know, four days before, four days after, the energy of the full moon is really strong. Now, I believe that God trumps everything. It doesn't matter what's in the air, that you know, but full moons do affect people. If people say the moon doesn't affect you, how can they say that? I mean, we know that the moon pulls the tide, you know, we know if you talk to any police officer, EMT, doctor, emergency room worker, <coughs> people, mental hospitals, whatever, people change around full moons. They're high emotion times, but we also have a lunar eclipse. So the full moon is in Leo and I am not an astrologer. Uh, astrology is probably my weakest point, but I will tell you what I'm getting. I know that between the shift, the energetic shift that we're having, and just the way things have been going, 2017 didn't start out really great for a lot of people. Now, some people, I have different clients that are saying different things. Some people are like, out of control. It's like nothing is going right. My depression is worse. And then there's other people that are saying, hey, it's all lifting, it's all getting better. I still believe that 2017 is going to kick right into gear. I think January was not anything to brag about. Uh, the beginning of February, we're only at the 10th. I really believe by the end of February, things are gonna start looking up. And this full moon could have a lot to do with it. It's in Leo. And Leo, yeah, if you know anybody that's a Leo, Leo is creative, Leo is arrogant, Leo shines, Leo is the king, you know, um, the lion, the king of the jungle, you know, um, Leos are very magnetic, uh, charismatic, you know, it's a very creative, creative time. But it's also a time to look at relationships. Now, our relationships are going to be affected. Have you felt maybe a little more emotional or have you been rethinking things because right now is a time also of past the past whether it's your past the things that you've done you know just thinking about the past being nostalgic or actually a past person coming back don't be surprised if a past person comes back into your life even if it's only momentarily because it's as if we're all this yuck stuff is coming to the surface you know and uh, will be released or you can look back and learn something from it. Now, if it's an actual person coming back, it doesn't mean they're coming back to stay into your life, but you could just need that closure. It could be just a time. Maybe you do want to reconnect, but if you do, there's an opportunity coming. If you don't, there's an opportunity for closure or for you to maybe apologize or get an apology or whatever the case may be. Lunar eclipses normally give us a time of like reset, like emotional reset or spiritual reset. So we can take them as, you know, as the moon represents feelings, it represents the feminine. Feelings, emotions, that sort of thing. If we can think of it kind of being blotted out even for a moment, it gives us that time, okay, of rest, of, t of blotting it out, of, of actually like just a moment of clarity where we can say, okay, I'm going to reset now. Take it as that. Uh, full moon energy is always stronger, so emotions are going to be stronger. But knowing this, if you know this, you can take it, you can use it to your advantage, and you can say, okay, I'm going to use this creative energy, I'm going to use this magnetic energy, and I'm going to fix what's broken and move forward. We also have a comet that we're supposed to be able to see. Um, so I guess the eclipse is kind of like a... 553, 543, so I'm not, don't quote me on that, look it up. Um, and then the, the full moon is actually at like 743 or something like that. Again, don't quote me. Um, if you want exact, look it up somewhere. And then later on, there's a comet. And depending on how clear the sky is, I mean, definitely with a tel telescope, you could see it. But I guess we're supposed to be able to see at least some of it from the naked eye. So that's kind of cool, too. Um, it's still going to be, I guess, like 7 million miles away or something like that. But we're still, you know, if it's a clear sky, we'll still be able to see it. But right now, take this time. And like I said, God trumps all. He trumps any full moon. He trumps any kind of weather pattern, any kind of star pattern, any kind of astrology, anything, numerology, anything. 
he can do anything. So prayer first, stay connected with him, make sure your, your relationship with him is where it should be. Keep your vibration high, keep it, you know, raise it every day, cleanse out your aura, all of that. But full moons really do bring about high emotion, high intensity, whatever's going on, it seems to be magnified. But like I said, this is in Leo. Leo's, uh, you know, Leo's can be a little arrogant. I, I happen to, it's love Leo's. They're my opposite, polar opposite sign. And, you know, it's either love you, I hate you, right? Um, and I do, I love Leo's, even as arrogant as they can be. They're leaders, you know, they, they are um, really people like that. I mean, if they're true to their sign, if you stroke their ego, um, they're good. They're good. And most of the time they, they, it's okay because they deserve it. They're smart. They're creative. They're leaders. They're, you know, um, and most arrogant people, we must remember that the more arrogant the person, the really more insecure that they are. There's a difference between confidence and arrogance. Somebody that's confident doesn't need to be arrogant. So, I mean, maybe if they're emotionally immature, they're really arrogant and then it leads to confidence and confidence is quite attractive too. Low confidence, self-doubt, um, it, it, it can get really, I mean, it, it not only does damage to the person, but, you know, people around you, I find are not, you know, they get really, it, it's, it's catchy almost. They, they, they kind of feel it from you and, and it's, it's not attractive. So I think that's why the arrogance comes out to try to cover the insecurity. You know, anyway, I'm not going to, I'm not even talking about people. I'm talking about energy here. So use that creative energy, use that energy of leadership um, and take that moment that the eclipse gives you to kind of reset. You will find yourself thinking about the past most likely um, and just take it for what it's worth. You can't go backwards. You can't change it, but you can learn from it. And if there's somebody does, you know, reconnect, don't immediately push them away. Take that for what it's worth, too. Whether, like I said, it's closure. Maybe you have something to say. Maybe they have something to say. Or maybe, just maybe you want to reconnect. But this is about relationships. So if you're in a relationship, don't be surprised if things get a little rocky, but only to bring about really good bonding and uniting. If you are broken up and you are not supposed to be broken up, right now would be a good time for... Um, for reunion and for reconnecting, for working things out. If you're not in a relationship and you want to be, pay attention. Pay attention because now's the time, you know? And don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by, you know, if you want to be in a relationship, a lot of times people come in and you go, okay, here it is because you really, not that you're desperate, but you really, really want to be in a relationship. So just pay attention because it's not, not all that glitters is gold. It may be the one that is, you know, maybe a little quieter on the sidelines. You know, so just really pay attention and you know what, if you make sure you know who you are and what you want, you're going to attract to you what you want, what you desire, what's right for you. And you're going to, you're going to be able to see it when it comes. All right. Happy full moon guys, you know, and let's hope that this is all correct and that we launch forward. All right. Take care guys.